I am here with Julia Martini at the 2019 Poker Stars and Monte Carlo Casino EPT event. Before we get into how you're doing in this event, we haven't talked to you since you got second in the PSPC tournament. What's been going on? How has it changed your life and how has it changed um, poker for you? Not that much changement, you know, like working every day and just like training, try to be better, like knowing that I'm not that good, but trying to just step by step be better. And um, yeah, it's um, it's a crazy thing, a lot of money, but daily didn't change anything. I just feel the need to play a bit less, you know, like not looking every time to play, play, play. Right now I can like also relax and spend some time with my friend and my family. So did you take any vacations or anything? Uh, yesterday was actually my first day off since like Bahamas. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess. That was why. five months ago almost. I mean, yeah, but World Series is coming and I want to do a, a good series this year. So, um, yeah, training hard and there is no secret in poker. More you work and more you perf. Well, do you feel that people recognize you more now? Yeah, um, I played a series um, two weeks ago in Cannes and we were in France and it was such amazing. I was just walking in the street and obviously a lot of poker players and everybody was like, oh, congratulations, man, that was amazing. And yeah, I think everybody was watching this big event, the Bahamas event. Everybody was behind this TV on Twitch and uh, yeah, a lot of recognition. Does it make you play any differently? Do people play against you differently? Yeah, uh, actually French people, they, they try new things against me. I'm like the guy to get to, to kill. Um, but um, I, I like in the tournament, like the EPT, um, just other pros, they respect me more. So I guess I have a, a, just a bit more fold equity, which is like obviously a good thing in tournaments. Um, yeah, people are playing very differently. Well, they want the story. They want to go home and tell people that they busted you or bluffed you from a tournament. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy if they, they feel that after they bluff me. I'm happy. They are happy. But uh, please don't be too bad with me. <laughs> be nice. Or, uh Try to bluff him when he has the nuts. Try that one. <laughs> please bluff me when I have the nuts, please. <laughs> so I actually, you first came on my radar during the summer last year, you won a bracelet in 1508. Yeah. And I heard you won more than a bracelet. You may be the first person in history to date the person that you beat heads up in a World Series event. Yeah, I mean, I, I won like the two biggest prize of my life, which is like a bracelet and um, a beautiful girl, uh, Kate, and we are very happy and I really hope that our story will um, long, you know, like as long as possible. Um, she's such a great player. We are like training together and it's like my life changed in an amazing way for, uh, that last year. Yeah. Poker fairy tale. Tell me, how, how do you go from playing heads up in a very competitive tournament for a bracelet to you know the flirtation and how do you when did you see her again did you get her ask for her number after how did that work no we just crossed each other the, the same day and we were like oh what do you do tonight nothing okay let's go to karaoke together and um it was a trap <laughs> that was a trap <laughs> so um if something like this happened in the future be careful <laughs> yeah, right? If, uh, if someone beats you heads up for a bracelet and invites you to karaoke, they have ulterior motives. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about this tournament now, EPT main event, mm -hmm. looking at around 800-ish for first place. You have a ton of chips, you've been dominating all of day two. Do you have a new perspective in going deep in these bigger fields since you've done it recently? Um, no, it's like I'm just trying to play the best hand by hand and, you know, see where it goes, obviously. Uh, a lot of great players here in the room and the road is so long. Um, I, just, I just try to don't make that much mistakes and, you know, just like hope. What were some of the biggest hands today that really increased your stack? Um, it was against Andras Nemetz and he um, flopped topper with a blocker on the straight and the board was like 9, 5, 3, 7, 4 or something. And I had set of 7 and he had ace 9 and unlucky for him but I was in the good side of the, of the game. Congrats, and uh, we'll keep checking in on you, stacking more and more chips up. And if you want to follow how Julianne's doing in this tournament, stay tuned to PokerNews.com for all the live updates.